Sam. Yes, she's like a nice. G'day guys, how are you going? Yes, I've got the Radiomaster T16S with something really cool on the back here. This is the 1 watt Beta FPV ELRS module. Fits in the rear bay of the Radiomaster like a treat. 2.4 gig and yeah, 1 watt, which means I'm going to go for flame and miles with this thing. This is the improved model, so plenty of room for your USB 2. Nice fan on the inside. I'll have a picture on the screen. They've redesigned the inside of this, so it blows that heat out really, really well. XT30 on the back, should you wish to independently power it, but I've got my Radio Master powered to the max, so that won't be an issue. I have my ELRS receiver hooked up to my Beta FPV 4 inch, so I'm gonna have a fly around a few trees here, so it is gonna be a little bit of a how well does this transmit through the trees test so that'll be interesting to see late 50 for us on the bottom for info elrs that's right express lrs this is a lot cheaper and i've got to say it's really really impressive guys so if you haven't looked at it check it out plenty of links below it's enough chit chat let's get the four incher up and see how this system works let's go Okay, off we go. Express LRS. A couple of telemetry screens there. I don't have my long range patch antenna on, so I don't expect the reception to be too good up on top of the hill here. This is actually now behind me. I love flying this 4 inch. Just have a look at the telemetry screens there. Mint quality. 90 to 100. Okay, let's just head out a little bit and see if we can get that link quality to come down a bit. Six at a hundred. Wow, that's really good. I don't normally fly this far out with this thing. Normally my LQ drops down a little more than that. I'm still flickering on 99 100 at six. That's really good. I think I'm certainly going to be uh, out flying my BTX long, long before I do any drama with uh, my, my one watt. <laughs> TX on the back here. I'm not going to push it, it's too hot for a walk. It's really hot today actually. Let's just change modes. Critical RF, interesting. I was way, way, way behind though. <laughs> okay, that's to be expected. How long we've been flying for so far? Yeah, four and a half minutes. Pretty good. 
this H50 does last for a fair while. I am facing the wrong direction, so uh, completely in the wrong direction, which would explain my RF critical. RX loss, okay. I have an RX loss now, that's interesting. RX loss, uh, well I haven't, I'm still controlling things. Interesting. Okay. RX loss. No. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm actually just there. Not too sure why I had an RX loss. There we go again, 8 at 0. Okay, it's interesting. Uh, X loss. I must admit, guys, I haven't had that before. I will investigate that though. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of RX loss here. Let's land it. Otherwise, yep, there we go. My receiver, I know, is um, it's a little bit sketchy mounted in there, so I think that could be why I all of a sudden got those RX losses because I've flown this a couple of times without any issue and have gone a long way too. A few moments later. Okay, straight into the workbench with a four inch. Uh, I've taken the canopy off and lo and behold, the receiver connector here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, yeah, she's worked her way loose. A little bit too much plugging and unplugging, so that's actually completely loose there, which is why I was getting my intermittent RX lost, which is good. I means there's no real issue I need to rectify. Just need to get out the soldering iron and do some repairing. Sit rep, so my receiver wiring was a bit dodgy, a bit faulty, so I have completely rewired it straight to the FC. And now I'm just gonna have a quick rip, make sure everything is as it should be. So just fly slow and low for a minute and make sure everything's good. And then I'll have a quick TX test to make sure everything is as it should be. There's six at 100. So far so good, I was getting some intermittent RX loss before at this sort of altitude and this sort of flying, so I think I um, may have fixed it. Let's just give it a spin around. Make sure everything is as it should be whilst having a spin around. Looks good guys, looks good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Take 
quick look to see where the voices are coming from. Okay, let's just punch out a quick rangey, see how far we can get out before our VTX disappears. Fifteen point one volts. Yeah, so I'm not getting uh, any LQ issues now, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. Okay. Quick flyby and return to home. Very good. There you go, guys. Lesson to be learned guys, always yeah, do a little bit of a service, bit of maintenance on these quads from time to time because they do cop a bit of a beating, especially if you have a fall or a drop, um, but just from vibration alone, they do tend to uh, fail up every now and then, so a quick tear down, make sure everything's up nice and tight and all the solder is looking good. <laughs> 